Hey guys, welcome back to Flying with Plan Ahead. Um, we are on day seven or eight or nine of the Alpha Fleet uh, starter character, Alpha Prime, Alpha Fleet Prime, AF Prime. Um, so uh, yesterday, if you want to check it out, I got killed by a smart bomb, but I'm back on my way to Gulf of Nodi, if I remember correctly. Um, and uh, since this video is probably being watched 15 days from now this is the start of the amara foundation day so we're not going to talk about that too much because it is going on right now and this won't be <laughs> shown for like 20 days so we're going to go ahead and claim our bonuses there get our fireworks and then get our starter stuff there we go i don't need a destroyer skill book i already got those and mr af prime there we go So we should be about seven or eight jumps away from um, Gulf of Nodi. I'm actually not going to go to Gulf of Nodi. That is a, I'm going to go to Toysenhout, if I'm pronouncing that right, or Tia, Tion, uh, Tianusod. Um, try to finally get out scanning. If you've watched the first seven or eight videos of this, um, I've only spent maybe... 30 minutes total um, scanning. Um, I keep trying to get out there to just get some money. Uh, let's just see what we got here. I am making some money there, though. Uh, the whole goal now for the next 15 days is to maximize there we go how much isk we can why do I have that much isk? Did I get anything? Same stuff. Okay. Um, good. So how many jumps? Oh, we're 10 jumps away. Um, is to maximize and get as much isk as possible. Looking at our skill update. We're at... We're now working on Galinti Frigate 3. And the next one will be moving on to Amar Destroyer. So we'll have all the Galinti, all the frigates done. The one thing going on with this is I will be getting my daily uh, special thing for the MR missions, but I will not have any of the daily skill points that I can do unless I go and do the special parade or things like that, which I am not going to go do. That takes way too much time for the 30 minute limit that I do on these videos. If you're jumping into this video for the first time, um, check out the other ones. I'm living myself to 30 minutes per day. Um, this is a pre-recorded set of videos um, to create an alpha fleet character that I can fleet up at any point in time in the future. Um, why am I doing this now? Because currently I am on vacation um, <laughs> and I wanted to have something that could be posted. It does not mean that I won't be able to post stuff while I'm on vacation. Um, as I still like to play Eve when I have the availability. But... Um, a couple months ago when I was traveling down in Texas going from hotel to hotel, uh, the uh, internet connections were so spotty and I found myself fighting to get an internet connection every once in a while, well, about every other day if not more so. And then I was fighting to get up a video, which um, that's not what I'm doing these videos for. I'm doing it because I'm having fun, not forcing myself to make a video. And right after that, I really had a downturn in my my mental state toward play, making videos. And so um, I stopped for a little while. And since I've come back, I've been so happy just focusing on um, having fun while I make these videos. I really thought I was done, to be honest with you. There was a, like a three-week break there um, that I... I just decided I wasn't going to do any more videos. I was just going to play. And there were a lot of uh, things that happened in my life. I probably talked to him briefly before. I had a couple. Uh, a friend of mine pass away. And uh, uh, I had to put my dog down. Um, and a couple other things that popped up that weren't fantastic. And sometimes you got to focus on things. But i got to be honest with you. Part of it is making these videos that's brought me back. 
Um, and I, you know, you, you just kind of reset yourself. And I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole for too long, but I just got to say, this that's why I'm making these videos here is um, because I, I don't want to worry about that while I'm on vacation. But I'm also having fun with this experiment. Um, it's a little bit tiring because I'm doing 30 minutes of this and then my regular video that will post on August 2nd if, if I want to. <laughs> it's my day off, so I will. Actually, I'm ahead of the game. Um, the video, I just created two videos last night or yesterday. One is going to post tomorrow and then the next one is already scheduled has not been scheduled but will be the next day so i'm a little bit bit ahead so that makes me happy okay we're already to heck here cool 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 that um if you've been following the videos this is very interesting because i'm back in an alpha character flying a heron um going to explore i have maxed out the skills for what a um uh, alpha character can use. Um, I've just got regular combat probes. Um, prior videos, I was able to scan down level four sites. So um, to go to level five would be very hard, but finding level five sites is actually even tougher. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, now it's all about uh, skilling up into the ability to fly any ship in the major factions that is up to battle cruiser um, of the basic ships that way if anybody wants to fleet up or if we want to start a fleet as a group um, i can do so and i'm saving and i hate to repeat myself but i can't remember where i was at with the last one i'm just traveling right now um, i'm saving my daily skills um, my daily skill points that i get so that if I do decide to join a fleet, I can just dump those in to some to some equipment skills um, for the ships. Once I go on vacation, I'll drop in the Magic 14. So while I'm not playing this character, I am skilling up those items. So that'll be kind of cool. I did um, put in some very basic... Um, uh, uh, attribute um, enhancers to help skill up a little faster um, maybe before I go on the 15 days I might find some better ones if I make enough isk maybe plus threes um, that way uh, I'll be getting the maximum while my character's just sitting around um, that does remind me I haven't really been playing Amanda Rose Pilgrim too much and I should be putting some filters into some uh, uh, some augmentation in there. I thought I remembered hearing that they were going to be changing that, so I don't know. Uh, coming up on one of my more favorite systems that I've always liked, just partly for the name, it's called Magico. Uh, Magico. Magico. Um, it's a huge system. It was the first system I ever flew through where I didn't go gate to gate because of the size of it. Um, now, I don't know if that will happen with my probe here, um, but uh, we'll, we're about to see. Um, sometimes if you're flying a ship with less capacitor or the ability to, um, see it's 102 AU across to get to twice, 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 okay, so I can make it. So I, a Heron can make it all the way across. Um, but I'm pretty sure almost in a lot of other ships cannot. You have to go part way and then go again. But we're almost where we want to be. So where do I want to start scanning? Where I'm going to twist now. Let's pull up Molden Heath here on the map. <coughs> so here's Twist now. I can go to Basana. Atlar, or um, if I want to go up to Gelfiven, now this is something that I am going to do. Um, I'm not going to go directly in. A lot of people would either go to Basana because they they would be circling down to go this direction. Other people might go to Atlar. Um, I'm going to actually go into Odel, Odelof, Odelof, um, because. Uh, 
it it's not a direct route anywhere which means i might be able to not have to worry as much going through the gate and getting tank getting ganked so um i'm gonna go ahead and swing up to Gelfhaven. Gelfhaven, i really like i'm surprised it's not used as much as some of the other systems um it does not have a science station so maybe that's why golf and is used a lot more um but um it does have everything else and it's a nice little system i also lived up here this was my first island system i lived out of uh this is why i'm coming out to molden heath it was literally the first major system that i hung out with for a long period of time uh the first time i ever played years and years way way back i played for about six months to a year and i lived out in canid space and i think it was the nera for a while and i joined an alliance and that alliance fell apart and i just kind of quit the game i was a minor just barely learning the game and it just kind of got a little bit quiet um oh wow i didn't realize is twisted that big it is wow so i guess maybe twist now it's larger than majiko is so you got two huge systems right next to each other that is exactly what i was talking about you can't fly all the ways to the station or all the way from gate to gate that's 164 it's almost the size of thera i think thera was like 200 200 250 300 somewhere in there okay we have finally made it here let's hopefully try to get into losek odelelf now um i'm not going to mess around i've got local right up here i've got my saved locations here i'm going to make some saved locations in each one um as i go through so as the days go along it will hopefully get easier to do this um as long as i get the odelelf fine right here um and then I'm not going to scan any areas unless I'm alone by myself. So, um, so that's why I like Molden Heath. Now, this is the Amar special thing that's going on. Um, so it might be a little bit quieter out here in Molden Heath space. I don't know. I haven't looked at what's going on with the mold. That. So we got three guys here. Big thing here is, is anybody on station? No. I'm going to swing up to Atler see if anybody's there safe one we're gonna put a safe spot down by doing this it'll allow me to scan gates to get out um, so now I'll be able to scan both Atler and Gelf even to see if there's any smart bombers at the gates now I've never maybe that's why I was so stunned yesterday I've never been smart bomb before, at least that I can remember. Um, and oh, cool! We got nobody in system, so planet five warp within a hundred. Control B, safe one, and we are submitting. There we go. Okay. So let's see if there's any cosmic signatures. We got a bunch. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe we can make some ISK for once. Or not ISK, but parts that we can sell for ISK. Yeah, the main reason I came out to Molden Heath was I know the area. Come on. Now this is going to be interesting because I've been flying my new Cheetah on my main account recently. My skills are a lot better. The cheetah does a lot better. Um, now I got to actually pay attention to the scanning. Okay. Oh, we got somebody in system. Let's get my D scan going. Core scanner probe. Oh, yeah. And I am not going to mess around. Um, see what happens here. We're going to keep our D scan up and going. If I see any other probes popping up. Um, okay, it's just a retriever. Oh, he's a miner out here. He's just moving from space to space. I'm not too worried about it. Although, if you know what you're doing, I wish I would have known a lot of what I know now as just a low-sec, high-sec 
any low sec, null sec liver. Um, <clears throat> I used to think it'd be impossible to uh, mine out in low sec, um, but if you really know what you're doing, it's a combat site. Cool. Um, like with directional scanning and watching the maps and looking for prime places to um, mine out of. Um, I think you could actually do it fairly easily. It's a more, it would be more active. You'd have to keep your eyes out. You couldn't AFK mine. The combat site. That maybe that's why all these cosmic signatures are here. <laughs> these are all combat sites. So all I'm doing here is going from signature to signature. Um, I've done this a bunch of times, so I've kind of gotten a feel for most of the time how far up and down I have to go with my ranges, especially if it's got the little circle thing here. There we go. Pull that down. Why do I not have my afterburner on? That's a wormhole. At some point, I may just jump into wormholes. The only problem with that is I can't automatically... Um, I have to find a wormhole out the next day and that could possibly limit me to my daily stuff that I do. So I'm probably going to limit this to just um, low second null sec scanning. There is um, the Great Wildlands which is south of here and I could delve into there and possibly do some scanning out of there. It's a little bit tougher to get home um, to sell your stuff, but the toughest part with this is limiting myself to the 30 minutes per day. Um, it really focuses you on, okay, what is my task at hand? Um, but once this is done, oh, we got another guy in the system. Now here's a nice part. We've got the retriever out here. If this guy is trying to kill somebody, it's another wormhole. Okay. Got a fourth guy, a fifth guy. Oh, hello. Well, that's not cool. All I'm doing here is looking for combat probes to pop up in my um, directional scanning because I am traveling pretty fast um, from a safe spot that's out here. Did I work back to my safe spot? I think I did. <coughs> the other part too is the fact that up oh, they're all gone. If they are hunting, they would probably go after that retriever first. There we go. How much time do we have? So there was some travel time at the beginning. So we got about 10 minutes. Been able to scan down. One, two, three, four sites. I got two left. And then I'm going to actually reverse course. Go to a spot that I've never really spent any time, if any, at. And I'm coming up with a plan in my head of how I want to do the next couple of days. As long as I stay alive out here. Oops. Okay. So we got the, uh, so the split signature thing so you always want to go to scan down the one that's farthest away 
of all of your bubbles. It's on the outside of your bubbles because what it's saying when it splits like this and, um, <coughs> is that uh, the site that you're scanning is only being touched by two bubbles. So it's usually the farthest one on the outside. It's another combat site. So we got one more cosmic signature. This is kind of making me sad. I haven't found anything yet. But I am happy that I'm out here. Last couple days just trying to get out here was a little bit frustrating. Now the ISK part of it is not a huge deal. Um, I do make ISK with my other characters so I could send um, ISK over to them if I want to fleet up in the future. But I would really like to make this character a self-sustaining character. Um, it is only an alpha character. It would be kind of awesome to get it to a point where I don't think you could make enough ISK with it on its own. But if I could... I pay for my major account, but my, uh, my main account. But if I was able to make enough ISK off of that to fund this one to become an Omega account, that would be pretty cool. Okay, so that's a gas site. So we're going to go ahead Close all that down. Reload that back up. I'm going to head back to Odelf. Um, why am I going back there? Because I realized... So, kind of my plan over the next couple days is I'm in Odelf. Whoa! Yeah, I'm in... Am I in Atler right now? Yes, I am. I want to go back to Odelf, and then I want to go check out these systems right here. I'm betting there are people living in them, but... I'm going to check these out and then circle around. And if I get, if I have enough time, I might go down to the Great Wildwoods down here, which is um, NPC Nullsec, um, and scan in there and see if I, what type of money I can make in each area. So we got a lot of people here. Uh, scanner probes, of course, scanner probes. So somebody's scanning here anyway. And that was Isitard, if I remember correctly. Let's make sure. Yes. Istodard. So we're going to jump through there. Okay, so what I'm doing here is setting up a save spot as I'm warping to this. So the next time I come through, I know I have a save spot within 14.3 AU. Of this gate. There we go. If I get smart bomb today, and that would be the second time in two years, I might just quit. <laughs> Joking. But wow, there's nine people in the system. Uh current me would normally go check out who these guys are um well while we're flying we'll just see if they're parts of the same court parallaxis alliance same alliance same alliance same alliance so they are probably just living out of this area here which is cool um but might limit my ability to actually scan in this area. That was the chair. <laughs> okay, so I'm in half right now. I've got another guy in system, like I said before. Since I don't know who he is or what he's doing, I'm not messing around with it. I'm going to go to Gonheim um, just to show you. I'm not going to make any save spots for this because I might not be coming back here. If somebody lives, like a whole alliance lives in an area, I just avoid it um, right now because uh, they've got their own systems and things that they do. Um, and the fact that they had hunkered down in Ice Dard means they're probably holding on to this right here, at least for now. Um, and then you've got 
So what I'm doing is I'm just swinging over to Gonheim here, and I'm just going to circle back out. And then, um, you know what? No, I'm going to go to Bosena um, and go down south, and maybe I can get to the Great Wildlands a little bit faster. Um, not today, but I'll work my way there over the next couple of days. So we're in Gonheim. I've got a guy in system. So we can go back out to Ice Tard. Yep, see, he's already scanning out here with sister core probes. So I'm not going to mess with that too much. Um, wonder if there's many sites out here. Yeah, there's about four sites, so that's pretty cool. I could just jump into a wormhole and do that. The only problem with that is the number of cosmic signatures is huge. Um, but I could just sit in. It just gets a little bit boring. I want to see some of the sites. Um, I could just sit in a system and see what's going on. Um, so we're going to go back out to Odenelf. Uh Actually, I'm going to... I think I should be fine. We're going to find out. If I die, I die. What I should be doing is finding a safe spot and then checking out the gate to Odelf, especially since there's an alliance here, um, because they may be trying to guard their space, or they may have jumped out and are uh, guarding this gate, but they may have just seen that I'm a heron, so they're not too worried about it, or they may just be hanging out mining. Never know. Um, if you don't draw attention to yourself, usually that's cool. And find out here I'm good so we're gonna go down to Bosena now why didn't I go to Bosena from the get-go through Tianasud um, like I said before this is a direct connection to low sec right here so what I've basically done is come in and go in this direction to come south Could, oops is that what I wanted don't click um, where are we at with our time here we're at 27 minutes so maybe if I get into Bosena, um, and then we'll go to Healed, and if there's nobody in either one of these systems, I might scan scan them down. Um, yep, see, there's people in this one. We've got a Varger right on gate, so we're going to go to Healed. Now, one thing I've got to be a little bit careful of here is um, if somebody were traveling to the Great Wildlands, this would be the direction they would want to go in. So this could be a spot where it's gate camped. Uh, we do have a Gavarga right on gate. Did he just jump through here with me? He did. So we're going to hold our cloak. Okay, he just warped off. We've got another Varger. He just warped off too. Okay, cool. Um, and both of those guys are in Vargers, so I am not too worried. <clears throat> they're off doing something probably on their own. I'm going to make a safe spot. And... I think we've got a little bit of time. There we go. Um, that I might be able to scan something. Let's see if there's any SIGs here. There's only one. Let's scan down that one SIG. See what it is. I bet these guys are um, doing... There's some decently sized... Uh, things here. Oh, one of them already left. They're both gone. Okay. Let's go ahead and scan this last cosmic signature down. we got 30 seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and then I'll go ahead and dock up. I'm betting this isn't anything. But you know what? Every once in a while I get a little lucky. Didn't make any is today, but I was able to get here and get started. Um, the NPC Nulls, as I work toward the Great Wildlands, 
NPC Nullsec is very good for scanning down systems, especially when I was out in Stain. There was a run of a weekend where I got over 600 million ISK a couple of uh, weeks ago. If you want to check those out, it was crazy. It was like every day I booted up. And it was actually during the Minmitar um, event that was going on. Now, this is currently the Amar event. So maybe if I go to a Minmitar focused area, because if you do, you can either run the Amar events um, in Amar space or you can go outside of it. Now, a lot of people will be doing, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff you can get through the Amar events, but I will probably be competing with better people who scan better than I do, or at least have better skills than I do. So all I want to do is just relax and see what we got here. And once I find out it's nothing, we'll go ahead and dock up. And I'm already here, so tomorrow I can just jump out and start working my way toward the Great Wildlands. Yep, it's a gas site. Not a problem. So we will go ahead and dock up. That's about it. So um, I hope you guys are having a great one. Um, I hope you fly safe and fly dangerously and fly however the heck you want. And I will hopefully talk to you soon. Uh, if I am able to play and make a regular, this is my comfy shirt. You can see that hole right there. This is my morning comfy shirt. Um, if, I do, if I am able to play while I'm on vacation, I will be putting up um, videos, um, random videos. So that not just these. So, But these at least will keep me happy that I've got stuff up there that I don't have to focus on doing them. Alrighty. Well, have a great one. Fly safe, fly dangerously, fly however they work, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.